So in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick and efficient workflow we can use for interworking between the desktop and iPad versions of Affinity Photo. Now let's take a scenario where I've stitched together a high resolution panorama and made a couple of small edits. I might then want to pass this document off to the iPad version so I can edit it on the go. So what we can do here is go and save the document to iCloud Drive or some other cloud storage. So I'll just save it in this directory I've created called Interworking. And then of course we need to give it time to synchronize. Now on the iPad app, we want to go to create a new document here. And then we want to choose Open from Cloud. Now it's crucial that we choose this option as it will keep the document file in place on cloud storage when we save back to it. So on iCloud Drive, I'll just find the interworking directory and we'll find the document we saved from the desktop version and go ahead and download and open it. Okay, so imagine this scenario. Now that we're on the go with our iPad, we can perform a few edits to the document. So for example, what I might do is jump into the Adjustment Studio, add a brightness and contrast adjustment, increase the contrast, decrease the brightness for a bit of a moodier appearance. Back in the Adjustment Studio, I might add an HSL adjustment. Let's just bring the overall saturation down, move across to the yellows, bring the saturation up to really bring out the tones in the buildings. I'll move across to the cyans, just reduce the saturation and luminosity slightly, and do the same for the blues, saturation down, luminosity down. Then on top of all that, I'll move to the Layer Studio, select the Pixel Layer, go to the Filter Studio. I'm going to add, if I can find it, a Gaussian Blur filter, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna convert this to a live filter. So first I'll choose a suitable radius. Then I'll tap the live filter button, choose yes. If we go back to the Layer Studio, we'll see if we double tap the Pixel Layer, the Gaussian Blur layer is now child layered. We'll just double tap it to bring up the settings. We want to preserve alpha. And also in the more options for this layer, I'm going to set the blend mode to overlay. And also play around with the blend ranges here. So I'll tap source and just drag the shadow node down. Do the same for destination. So we end up with a kind of a nice diffuse glow effect. That's before, and if I just re-enable the layer, there we go, that's after. So anyway, I just kind of sped through those edits because what I want to demonstrate is that when we're done editing, by tapping the top left icon here. Okay, now what we want to do is tap on the little burger icon for this document and choose save. And notice it's saving it out as the file name we originally gave it when we were saving from the desktop. And again, we'd have to wait for that to now synchronize to the iCloud Drive. Now, back on desktop. Imagine, if you will, that we're back at the office or at home. We can dive straight into the folder on our cloud storage and open that document back up in photo. So I'll go to File, Open, and we're already in the interworking directory, so I'll just select the document and open it. And as you can see, the version we edited on iPad is there with all of the changes present. So that's the couple of adjustments we added, plus that live Gaussian blur filter for that diffuse glow look. And there we have it. I just wanted to share with you a very quick workflow for interworking between the iPad and desktop versions of Photo. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.